Hello, my name is Stephen Knight. This is a Trainerscope presentation. This little super brief presentation is just looking at a problem that occurs with big PDFs where you're wanting to move pages around using your thumbnails, but with a big PDF you you can't see many thumbnails at once. You want to drag things long distances. If you drag something and drop it in the wrong place, then there's no undo. You've got a spot that you've dropped it in the wrong place, move it to the right place. All very awkward. So let's have a look at a technique that might help us here a little bit. Now this will even be more effective when you're trying this out on your own screen. It's going to be a little bit squashed up to suit my recording area, but you'll get the gist of it. So what we're going to do here, step number one, we want to see more thumbnails. We want to see more thumbnails. So what we need to do is position the mouse pointer on the border between the thumbnails panel and where the document begins. If I drag that out to the right, and I'll go off screen so it's substantially out to the right, we can see more thumbnails. Okay, that's a step for good. The second thing we can do is you can right click not on a thumbnail but in the thumbnail panel and you'll notice we've got an option to reduce page thumbnails. I'll repeat that a bit further up the screen. So we've got an option to reduce page thumbnails. You've also got an option to enlarge page thumbnails. But what you can also do is hold down the control key, roll the wheel mouse forward, increases the size, roll the wheel mouse backwards, reduces the size. And now I'm hoping you're beginning to see my point here. As I move backwards and forwards, we can see a lot more of the document in one go. It makes it easier to move things around. Now, as a little example here, I've got some financials that I might want to move to earlier in the document. So I'm just clicking on the first page, shift clicking on the last page. I want to move this between page 25 and 26. So I can drag that up and drop that in there. Much better behaved. If you do this on a regular computer screen where you, you've got your full modern uh, view, you'll see a lot more. It's just way more effective. But I'm hoping my little demonstration here has been enough to illustrate the point. This is just an issue that's come up in a couple of places recently. So I'm hoping you'll find that useful. Any questions, please feel free to get in touch. Links on the last slide.